as a guitar player, I feel I feel challenged all the time by by the guitar. I mean, it's something you never stop learning. You never go, okay, I'm done. I've learned it all. I mean, it's just it's an amazing. That's what makes the instrument so amazing. The feeling is that it's one of, of you know letting go of ego and letting go of. Oh yeah, I, I I got this. I know how to do this, and sort of going, what can I learn today? You know, what 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 challenges me, and how can I, you know, what can I what can I learn to be a better guitar player? For me, it's very humbling, and it's very much a discipline, and it's um, one of the only things in life that I actually take seriously. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Um, you know, this is this is how people communicate, and enough people on Twitter and people on Facebook going, oh, you know, listen to Khaki King's record. It'd be great to see her play in Mexico. And enough people get together and say, we want to overthrow the dictator, or we want to have Khaki King come to Mexico City. I mean, like, however, you know, whatever it is, it works. Um, it's all been it's all been really fun, fortunately. Uh, and I'll say this because a lot of times, creating the right score for a movie is is artistically very challenging. Um, I, I've never been under, you know, complete pressure to make something that's perfect and redo it and redo it. Um, so uh, I've, I've only kind of gotten the, 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 the better side, the, the more fun side of making music for fun. It looks like I have stages from an outsider's view, but to me, you know, I, at the same time that I was making solo guitar records, I was playing for fun in a band with friends that was, you know, total crazy heavy rock. Going from really focusing on solo guitar to broadening that spectrum, um, that, that was not a sea change, it was just something where, it was something I really wanted to do. I'd always played guitar since I was, you know, this high. I was about four, four or five years old when I started playing. I really did play drums pretty seriously because it was more like everyone needed a drummer, that, you know, that kind of thing. And I, and I, and I really enjoyed it. I loved playing drums. So while the two coexisted, it, it, drums were my social music experience. Like I was, I was playing drums in bands because I got to make music with people and hang out. But guitar was always a very more private. Growing up, and so that kind of that, that sort of drum guitar story. First, um, introduced the idea of of catharsis, which is when you you know we go and watch plays that are sad or movies that are ter you know we cry and yet we feel better. Being able to experience something sad or listen to a song that makes you you know kind of melancholy, you feel somehow better on the other end. And, for me to write those types of songs makes me feel better. Happiness is not the point. Um, I think having that, the ability that sadness can make you some, you know, experiencing it and then feeling relieved afterwards is, is curious and interesting. So I, I, I keep that in mind sometimes. I wish I knew. <laughs> like, I wish I had the, um, the formula because it's never the same. If I if I had the formula, I'd, I would be a very different type of musician. Um, but you know, my life is always changing, so sometimes things be, need to be written quickly. And sometimes I have you know two years to write them. So it's just. Um, I will say that if you come with the intention of writing, you typically eventually will end up with something. First time I've come um, professionally to play. I'm totally thrilled to be here. I mean, it's it's wonderful. It's enough to just come to a new place and um, and enjoy yourself, but to be able to come and play and and have that wonderful experience with interacting with people, it, it, um, it'll be great. You know, no matter what happens, really. Do you feel good? I mean, look at this. You know, it's fantastic. <laughs>